Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part three of my Fallout New Vegas 2017 mod guide. Today we're going to talk about Darnified UI. So you can see here on screen that menu that I'm selecting from. Notice the, the rounded fonts uh, and the good looking graphics. Um, you can see here in this clip in the lower left hand side where I've got my HP and my compass and on the right hand side I've got my action points and uh, condition meters and ammunition meters. You'll notice how small those UI elements are uh, and they look really nice. They're anti-alias, they're rounded. Um, that is being provided by a UI modernization that's called Darnified UI. And I want to talk about that real quickly in this video and how to set that up if you want it. A um, couple of points of caution here. If you're going to play this game on a PC monitor at your desk, um, then I think the Darnified UI looks absolutely fantastic, and I do highly recommend it, though with some caveats. For example, the Darnified UI does not work very well with any mod that deals with the user interface. So if you're planning on using a mod that needs the MCM or Mod Configuration Menu um, or a mod that's going to change UI elements, then uh, the Darnified UI is going to give you some problems. You're going to have to find patches for those mods that work with the Darnified UI. Now, if you're going to play New Vegas at your television from your couch on a home theater PC, which is what I'm actually uh, doing now, then I would highly recommend not installing the Darnified UI. Uh, when you're sitting back at a distance, it's very difficult to see the small rounded fonts. I've got to actually put my glasses on to see them. Um, of course, the Darnified UI is a framework, so it's a set of tools basically or standards that let you modify the font sizes and move elements around and redesign the UI. I don't typically do that. I would typically just install it just so I get a nice modern looking user interface without huge fonts. Um, you can see here that the Pip-Boy, uh, same thing, all the fonts are, are small and they're rounded and they're real modern looking. And like I said, that's great if you're sitting right in front of the monitor, but if you're at a distance, 6 feet, 10 feet, you know, whatever, you're on a couch, um, I actually wouldn't recommend using the Darnified UI because it's it's uh, the fonts are so small. The other issue is a compatibility issue. So if you're planning on using, you know, a, a good healthy set of mods, um, you're going to have issues trying to make them all compatible with Darnified UI. So, really recommend, uh, you know, if you're if you're in if you're interested in making screenshots or videos or things like that, you want a nice, good-looking, modern UI. Darnified is great. You're not going to use very many mods. Um, then, then it's great. But if you really want to experiment with a lot of mods, uh, particularly any mod that requires the MCM menu then for all those mods, you're going to have to search around to find patches. Um, and there are some other issues too, like if you uh, if you run the Fallout New Vegas launcher, that's going to edit the Fallout INI file, it's going to break the Darnified UI. Uh, any mod that you use or any action that you take that uh, resets that Fallout INI file is going to break this mod. So lots of caveats. So again, only do this if you're sure you need this and you're sure you want this. Uh, but do be prepared to have to do some work after the fact to get your game functioning correctly. So if you've decided after hearing all this that you want to use the Darnified UI, then uh, follow along and I'll show you how to set that up. So in order to use the Darnified UI, you can't just go to Nexus Mods and download it. Uh, it was never released on Nexus Mods. So you've got to go to a specific location to get it. And that is this location here. Uh, check the description, the, the link in the description below. So what we got to do here, here's the README page, and I highly recommend reading all of this. But uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the Darnified UI archive. Okay, so once you've downloaded the archive, we're going to actually need to make some changes here so that we can install this and uninstall this through Nexus Mod Manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this archive to our desktop, and then we are going to extract this archive. 
and then we're going to delete the original archive from the desktop. Okay, so we're going to go into the uh, folder that got extracted, and we're going to create a new folder called data. Call this data, and then we're going to move all the files that were in the root of that folder into the data folder. Okay, we're going to close that window, and then we're going to go ahead and zip this up. We want to make sure that this data folder is the root of the zip. So I'm going to go to 7-zip, add to data.7z, and then we're going to take the original file name that we downloaded and rename this new file with that name. Okay, so we've got our file that we can bring into Nexus Mod Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the desktop and close this window and I'll delete that temporary folder. So now we've got a zip file that's more or less a mod file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Nexus Mod Manager and we're going to select New Vegas as the game we want to modify. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click this little plus mark here and it's going to let us browse for a file. We're going to go to the desktop and we're going to pick that D U N V whatever, you know, notified zip that we just made and click open. Okay. And then once you do that, it'll appear in your list here. You can see I've highlighted it and then to install the Darnified UI is as simple as double clicking it. Okay. It's installed. Now, if you were to run the game right now, actually your game would be all messed up. It would look very bad. The fonts would be not placed in the correct. You'd have clipping and things like that uh, because we haven't defined the custom fonts yet. So uh, we need to go back here to the readme page and this block here are the fonts that we're going to need. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy this block of fonts and then we're going to go to our documents folder. And then from documents we're going to go into my games and we're going to go to Fallout New Vegas. And then we see here I've got a bunch of extra files. What I typically do for the Fallout I and I, I make a copy of that file. So I always have a backup of it. And then I make another file that's my Darnified UI one as well. So that you know, I can easily restore and replace. But long story short, what we've got to do here is go into your uh, documents, my games, Fallout NV, Fallout.ini. And then in this file, you're going to search and do a control F, search for the word fonts. And then you see the fonts. <coughs> These are the original fonts. What we're going to do is highlight this entire block and we are going to paste the copied fonts from the readme file and we're going to click save and you should be good to go now. I should be able to run the game and we should see our Darnified UI in place now. And we can see here it should be fairly obvious. Um, you know that the fonts are now rounded they're much cleaner and they're nice so now the whole UI is going to give you a nice uh, clean looking user interface the fonts are going to be clean and uh, and the UI element should be small so so yeah take a look down here at the uh, at the HP meters and AP meters we've got uh, Anti-alias and we got rounded edges. We've got drop shadows. It looks really nice. So this is the way that we want it to look. So uh, Darnified UI is installed and we're good to go. If you had Mod Configuration Manager installed, then when you click Start, you would see an option here that says Mod Configuration. And uh, just warning you, if you install the MCM mod, then you're going to need a Darnified UI for it. And then every mod that uses the MCM, you're going to need a Darnified UI patch for that. Uh, most of the big mods do have one because Darnified UI is fairly popular, but uh, do keep that in mind. Again, not really recommending using the Darnified UI if you are new to this or if you are playing on a television set. Uh, but it is a great mod and it does make the game look really good on a computer monitor. So, hope you found that video helpful. We'll talk to you guys later.